Hello, this is Peter from First Maths. Today we're looking at Year 5, Block 1, Assessment Paper 1. Answers after each question. Question 1. Write the number that should go in the empty box. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are A. 7 times 10 equals 70. B. 100 ti 10 times 70 equals 170. C. 107 times 10 is 1070. D. 1007 times 10 equals 10,070. E. 13 times 100 equals 1,300. F. 100 times 14 equals 1,400 or 1,400. G. 9 times 100 equals 900. H. 76 times 100 equals 7,600. Let's look at the next question. Question 2. Write the number that should go in the empty box. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are A. 130 divided by 10 equals 13. B. 260 divided by 10 equals 26. C. 2070 divided by 10 is 207. D. 3000 divided by 10 equals 300. E. 3700 divided by 100 is 37. F. 600 divided by 100 equals 6. G. 9000 divided by 100 equals 90. H. 8,300 divided by 100 is 83. Let's look at the next question. Question 3. Write out these sets of numbers in order from the lowest to the highest number. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answers. The answers were A. 90, 109, 909, 990, 1009, and B, minus 8, minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, and minus 1. Let's look at the next question. Question 4A. Look at the temperature chart for the world cities. Which city was the coldest? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answer was Montreal was the coldest. Let's look at the next question. Which city was the warmest? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer is London. How much warmer was L London than Oslo? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer was 7 degrees. Let's look at the next question. Question 4D. Which city had a temperature between 10 degrees centigrade and minus 20 degrees centigrade? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer was Moscow. Let's look at the next question. Question 5. Round these decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. 
So you've got 7.2 round to the nearest whole number is 7. Look at the other numbers and round them to their nearest whole number. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answers were 7.2 goes to 7. 6.7 goes to 7. 9.8 goes to 10. 20.3 goes to 20. 99.7 goes to 100. 200.4 goes to 200. Let's look at the next question. Question 6. Round these decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. For example, 6.12 goes to 6. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are 6.12 goes to 6. 9.47 goes to 9. 9.96 goes to 10. 19.72 goes to 20. 98.54 goes to 99. Let's look at the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 7. Round 6.1 metres to the nearest metre. B. Round 5.8 km kilograms to the nearest kilogram. C. Round 5.52 kilometres to the nearest kilometre. D. Round 11.49 kilograms to the nearest kilogram. E. Round Three pound fifty-two to the nearest pound. Round five pound ninety-nine to the nearest pound. G. Round nineteen pound ninety-nine to the nearest pound. H. Round twenty-four pound forty-five to the nearest pound. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers were or are A. Round 6.1 metres to the nearest metre is 6 metres. B. Round 5.8 kilograms to the nearest kilogram, 6 kilograms. C. Round 5.52 kilometres to the nearest kilometre, 6 kilometres. Round 11.49 kilograms to the nearest kilogram, 11 kilograms. Round 3 pound 52 to the nearest pound, 4 pound. Round 5 pound 99 to the nearest pound, 6 pound. Round 19 pound 99 to the nearest pound, 20 pound. Round 24 pound 45 to the nearest pound, £24. Let's look at the next question. Question 8. Calculate A. Half of 72p. B. Quarter of £2. C. A third of 36 metres. D. One fifth of 55 kilograms. E. One tenth of 250 grams. F. One seventh of 56p. G. 1 eighth of 100 pound. H. 1 ninth of 81 kilogram, kilom kilometers. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are half of 72p equals 36p. Quarter of 2 pound equals 50p. One third of 36 metres equals 12 metres. One fifth of 55 kilometres equals 11 kilograms. Sorry, fifth of 55 kilograms equals 11 kilograms. E. One tenth of 250 grams equals 25 grams. F, one seventh of 56p equals 8p. One eighth of 100 pound is 12 pound 50. One ninth 
of 81 kilometers is 9 kilometers. Let's look at the next question. Question 9. Complete the table below. Fraction, half. Equivalent decimal, 0 0.5. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers were a half is equal to 0 0.5. One tenth is equal to 0 0.1. One quarter is equal to 0 0.25. One fifth is equal to 0 0.2. One hundredth is equal to 0 0.01. Three quarters is equal to 0 0.75. Question 10. Calculate. Work out these answers. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are 43 take away 36 equals 7. 404 take away 397 equals 7. 706 take away 598 equals 108. 804 minus 592 equals 212. 3000 take away 1997 equals 1003. F. 2006 minus 1999 equals 7. 8005 minus 2998 equals 5,007. 6,004 take away 2,992 equals 3,012. Let's look at the next question. Ah, here we are. Welcome. You have finished your test. Well done. Click on more of my videos. By simply clicking on the middle button, you can subscribe to my channel. You will be one of the first to know when I have uploaded new math resources. Every one of my math resources is designed to make math teaching easier and more fun. To explore more of my first math channel, please click one of the two videos here. Have fun and love maths. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.